Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. I wanted to share with you all today in this video why I personally drink around five gallons of raw milk a week. Yes, you heard me, five gallons of raw milk. But before I do, I want to give you a bit of a back story about me learning about the truth around raw milk and also pasteurized milk. That was some of the things that actually led me to really wanting raw milk and then actually sourcing it and consuming a lot of it on a daily basis. So first off, I wanna talk about raw milk versus pasteurized milk because a lot of people believe that raw milk is actually not good for you and pasteurizing is actually a good thing for you because when you tell a lot of people you're consuming raw milk, a lot of people freak out and say, no, don't do that. It could be really dangerous and harmful to you. That's why milk is pasteurized, but they are just completely misinformed and programmed with a lot of misinformation. So when you look into the history around this, going way, way back, there was someone known as Louis Pasteur and he was pro pasteurization and said you needed to actually pasteurize milk to kill off germs and bacteria that could cause infection and actually have a serious negative impact on people's health to the point where it could end up ending their life. And then you had Antonio Buchamp, which is on the other side, which he actually said that is not good to do that whatsoever. And for us to be healthy, we need to have healthy lifestyle practices and do exercises on a regular basis, breathe fresh air, eat a healthy diet. So you had these two people that were conflicting each other. And it went in the direction where people believed Louis Pasteur, because what happened was with the dairy industry and all of the dairy farms, they started putting all of the alcohol breweries around and next to and opposite the dairy farms. And what they started doing was giving the alcoholic byproducts that were left over after making alcohol to the cows in the dairy farms. And guess what started to happen with them? They started to get diseases, very sick, and they started to produce milk that was brown and highly toxic and not good so much so that they couldn't even use it to produce butter or cream which obviously that's not a good thing at all they're not designed to consume those byproducts so obviously it's gonna make them produce very poisonous milk and then louis pasteur because certain people ended up having their life go down and downhill and their health holistically they ended up having a lot of people having their life completely end and terminate, so to speak, because of drinking this highly toxic milk. So Louis Pasteur said the solution is pasteurize the milk, and then it will be void of all the different things that are making people very sick and ill, which that's obviously a ridiculous thing to say. It's just like, well, stop feeding the cows those toxic alcoholic byproducts and feed them a diet that is more so designed for them, such as grass. And then it will be super high quality. It will be free of any toxic bacteria or germs, which actually you want beneficial bacteria in your milk that is found naturally occurring in it because it's actually good for your health. We are actually made up of more bacteria than cells. And when you provide the body with healthy, beneficial bacteria, it will optimize your health holistically and your digestion and just make you feel the best that you can feel. And then if you look at this chart, comparing raw versus pasteurized milk, look at all of the different things that happens with specific substances that are very beneficial for us and necessary for the milk to be as nutrient rich and as healthy for us as possible, get killed off or inactivated when pasteurizing it. But when you do a lot of research into raw milk, the medical industry will say that there's no difference between raw and pasteurized milk, and that is absolute garbage. And at one point, before I could actually source this milk raw, I could only get it pasteurized. And when I was consuming it, I did not feel good from it in any way, shape, or form. And it actually made my health deteriorate massively. So after a short while of trying that, I just completely discontinued it until I managed to actually source this raw, which is actually quite hard in Thailand where I live because nowhere really offers raw 
milk or even advertises it because with cow's milk it's illegal to sell it in the shops or even advertise it but luckily in the end we found the supplier that would sell it to us directly raw and one little bit of history i'd like to add on to that if you do some research into dr charles porter which he was around in the 1800s and he was getting people to do raw milk fasts that were supervised in his hospital and he worked with over 18,000 people which is a lot of people and was completely curing them of things like asthma tuberculosis psoriasis diabetes and so many other different health issues and symptoms if you want to learn more about that i'll put a link down below for a book of his that i highly recommend that you buy and check out because it is just such an amazing book to learn the truth on raw milk and when he was actually doing the raw milk fasting with his patients he was getting them to consume around a gallon on a half of raw milk a day so actually more than what i consume within a day and he was also working with another doctor i can't remember the name of him but he was finding very similar results as well and you can do a lot of research into them to learn more on their findings so there are some medical doctors as i've just mentioned as you can see they could see the power of the raw milk and it was giving their patients miraculous healing benefits unlike what the medical industry uses with people and the results they get well they don't actually cure any people's health issues or symptoms they just give them something that is just a band-aid that is not addressing the root cause of their issues in the first place so now let's get on to me drinking the raw milk so they're all the reasons as to why i do it alongside that i just knew within me that raw milk was really good because i knew from years and years ago even when i was vegan i'd done a lot of research into it and noticed that a lot of people get an amazing health benefits and people that had so-called lactose intolerance and that's what was apparently making them feel bad from milk but when actually it turns out it's pasteurized milk because guess what once they start consuming raw milk they miraculously don't have a lactose intolerance anymore and for me personally consuming this much raw milk throughout the day i just feel naturally drawn to drink this amount that's not necessarily the amount you need to drink just listen to your body that's what i do and i just give it the amount it exactly wants and it just makes me have optimal sustained energy levels throughout the day without my energy levels going up and down it's giving me such a broad spectrum of minerals and vitamins and essential fatty acids and amino acids so this is literally one of the most nutrient rich foods out there that is so easy to digest and assimilate and i came off a vegan diet that I was on for around six years back in late last year in november and i run into so many different nutritional deficiencies so for me this is why i'm needing to consume a lot of this at the moment because i'm getting a lot of what i wasn't getting for a long time on that malnourishing vegan diet and this is one of the best food sources that i could get and it's not one of these crappy synthetic supplements it gives me everything that i need and it also gives me an abundance of really good essential fatty acids and a good amount of carbs as well so it's a very balanced food source and i find that it just optimizes my cognitive functions and my mood throughout the day it just makes me feel amazing just makes me the best version of myself i don't have any digestive issues with it whatsoever some people don't get on with raw milk from the history i've looked into pretty much all cows used to only produce milk that had a2 beta casein in but there's a lot of cows now that produce a1 beta casein so if you're someone that doesn't get on with raw milk it could be due to getting milk that has a1 beta casein in it which this one does but i don't have any issues with it you can do some research into this some people sell specifically a2 beta casein milk so if you don't get on with a1 try some a2 raw milk it's as simple as that and when you first start off with this just like i did start off with smaller amounts and build up to drinking more of this because your gut microbiome does need to change and adapt to drinking this which it will change very very quickly and for me it's just all about health i want to function and feel the best that i can feel and thrive rather than survive unlike what a lot of people are doing in today's world so yeah it just makes me feel the best out of anything that i consume within 
my whole diet. So obviously I'm gonna continue drinking it. And there's many other different benefits I'm getting from it. It has specific compounds in it that boost everyone's immune system when you consume it. It's just gonna overall prove your gut health and your gut microbiome. And it's just gonna give you so many other amazing benefits. And if you wanna know all the different benefits, you can do some research up online. And it actually has anti-inflammatory benefits unlike pro-inflammatory benefits that you get from pasteurized toxic garbage nutrient list pasteurized milk. So that's it from me in this video. If you want me to make a full video talking about the history of raw milk and pasteurization in way more depth than I have done in this video, let me know down below. If you want me to make more videos talking about raw milk as a whole, let me know down below. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So yeah, I'm glad it's ending because I am really, really wanting this milk and I didn't want to open it and make the milk bottles not look even. That's just me being anal. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drink some raw milk, go feel good and enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.